Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and hope you have a great and wonderful day. But it seems that um, Disney is not. It seems uh, this past year, Disney has been taking L's after L's after L after L. And it seems they're taking another big L. Because um, for everything that they advocated for, the things that they wanted, they were saying, go women, go this. And now they're being sued by over 9,000 women because they want compensation for violations of equal pay. Well, it seems that Disney, um, the women at Disney are obviously not very intelligent because um, uh, it seems that uh, they don't seem to understand that it is illegal to not pay women um, equally. So, you know, there's that. And two, um, it's also determined on how good of an actor you are. Hmm. You know, maybe sometimes you're just not that good of an actor, right? Like, you're, you're not that great of an actor, and you don't deserve this amount of pay. If you're a good actor, you get that amount of pay. If you're not, well, guess what? You don't get that kind of pay. It's kind of like acting somebody that constantly breaks something in your home, and, you know, uh, is a travesty and causes you damages, should be paid the same as somebody who doesn't pay, who doesn't do that, and actually fancies up your room even nicer. I think the fact that is that person should probably pay more for that is doing a good job than the person that's doing a bad job. But Disney is reaping what they sow. We have this. California approves equal pay lawsuit against Disney. 9,000 women to sue for alleged compensation violations. Ah. California, California, California. What are we going to do with you? Such a failure of a state. But let's read. I don't know why this is moving here. Get this out of the way. It seems as if the time for Disney to put their money where their mouth is regarding their progressive virtue signaling has finally arrived. As thanks to approval from the state of California, 9,000 women will be allowed to proceed with a class action lawsuit against them on the grounds that the company knowingly paid them less than their male counterparts. It's the largest to such legal action to ever go forward under the Equal States Equal Pay Act and covering employees from the company's Disneyland, Disney Cruise, Line, Film, TV, ABC, Marvel, and Lucasfilm Division, the lawsuit was allowed to move forward on December 8th after Los Angeles Judge Elu M. Berry rejected the House of Mouse's attempt to dismiss the case on the grounds that its claims were too broad. In making her failed argument to the court, Disney attorney Felicia Davis declared that such pay discrepancies existed due to the fact that two employees sharing a similar position, sharing a similar position did not necessarily mean that their work, actual workloads were substantially similar. Uh, per Courthouse News, following Judge Barry's decision, plaintiff's attorney Loris Andrus told the media, Disney has been gaslighting us for four years, and today they, they were proved wrong. This case is not about the nine individual plaintiffs. It's about all the women in California who work for Disney and who are fed up with being paid less than their male counterparts and who are seeking fair treatment. That's all. What is fair treatment exactly, though? Hmm? Because the problem that I have with this is, is that uh, women are paid less due to, to what they do. You know, there's maternity leave. And I hate to break it to you, ladies, but when you're not with a company for X amount of months... Um, you don't get paid the same as a man that is being paid um, that is with that company for that X amount of months, right? Uh, and there's also got a lot of benefactors that uh, come down to uh, specifically with, uh, you know, how much they're working, how much they're not working, um, times days off, ask for promotions and stuff like this. This is a constant thing that women need to start understanding of what goes on when you're being paid less or being paid more. And here's the thing. In the acting business, there are actors that are absolutely horrible. And there's actors that are good. And you can't ju you can't pay an actor that is worse and more famous, or that is worse and less famous, to an actor that is more famous and, and is better at their job. Like, for instance, I don't think Will Smith is being paid the same amount for his acting as he was probably a few years ago. His acting is just not as good as it used to be. He's not in as much films as as usual. And he's just gone down. His acting has dwindled in the past time. And he hasn't had very good movie success. So, therefore, compared to Denzel Washington that did have like good movie successes and stuff like that, these two actors are not paid the same. And this is the same for any type of job. You don't get paid the same for the amount of work that you do. That's like saying, oh, well, let's have uh, let's have the dishwasher guy be paid the same as a, uh, as a movie actor. No, that's insane. You can't do that. 
um, especially when you have movies that are not high high rated movies, you are expecting them to pay more money for those act for those movies that are not really high rated. I mean, I don't it doesn't really make quite much sense. So it it begs the question of what they mean by this. Uh, we have the as detailed by the F F four mission courthouse news. Andrews claims that the female Disney employees own not only received an average of two percent less in, in compensation than men in, in equivalent roles, but that their bonuses and other other such incentives were distributed in a confusing and unfair fashion. The suit's lead plaintiff, Law Ronda Lumusen, claimed to have earned varying amounts less, but at least sixteen thousand than the other other men who held her same manager position. I think this defense is going to break down, she continued, because here's what they're going to say. Oh, well, she should be paid less because of blah, 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 blah. She should be paid less because of blah, 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 blah. Because if you do that in front of a jury, you're dead. There's no way that's going to be acceptable to a California in jury in 2024. Well, that's not going to be acceptable for almost any jury in 2024, to be honest with you. And here's the problem with what you're saying. Blah, 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 blah. Well, here's the thing. That blah, 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 blah could be, you know, being paid less because they're working less or that they're, um, or that they're, uh, not as high rated as an actor. They're like, there's many other, there's many reasons why they wouldn't be paid as much. Like, if you're on maternity leave and you're not working for X period of time and you actually fade out of existence, well, people forget about you. People don't know, really know who you are. And, of course, if you're working with a business, you're not going to be paid as much. It's that simple. Now, that's just the way the biology and things work and it's reasonings. Companies are not going to pay people for working less. They pay people for who are working more than the average person. That's just normal. Like, I don't expect for me as a YouTuber uh, to, I don't even like calling myself influencer. I think it's disgusting. But uh, as a YouTuber or a person that commentates and reads articles, I do not think that I should be paid around the same amount of money as my other YouTube constituents who have thousands upon thousands of subscribers. Um, I think I should probably be able to earn those subscribers and get be paid what people think that I am worth. Um, I add value to myself. I do not just. I do. I should not be forced or or be forced to earn an X amount of money just because. That's asinine. It doesn't make any bloody sense. Adding to her thoughts during a later interview with Andy with Andy Wire, Andrews further asserted these are important cases for reducing the wage gap and exposing discriminatory practices. There we go. There's that word again. Wage gap. We are honored to represent the brave women who have come forward to tell the stories of so many women who were treated like cheap labor. We are pleased that the judge saw through Jesse Patek's fairness as the goal. That is all. And there's the huge word there. Wage gap. And what is the wage gap exactly? What is going to go on? Because as I think May Tim Bull says, the only other way you're going to solve this is through communism. Because you have to, you have to face, you have to pay people equal amount no matter how good they are. So that just means that um, what if this goes through? Obviously, if this goes through, that means whatever job that people are having in the field, specifically women. You're going to have to pay them the same amount for whatever job that they're in. No matter what it is, no matter what have you, it, it have to be paid the same. And it's completely asinine. And, of course, this is happening in L.A. and California. So this is the only type of thing that is going to happen in, I, honestly. I think it's only going to happen in New York, uh, Portland, Oregon, and, uh, and the one like I said, like New York City. I think those are the only places it's going to happen because, obviously, it is illegal to pay women um Low, lower than the average wage. It, it is impossible. Um, and there are many reasons why we are going to be paid less. Uh, pre uh, press for by comment on Judge uh, Barry's rulings by various outlets. Disney simply provided a written statement sta stating, we are disappointed with the court's ruling as to the Eagle Pay Act to claims and are considering our options. As of writing, Davis is referring all inquiries regarding the case to Disney proper. Meanwhile, Andrew is reported working to file another law but similar lawsuit against Disney for supposedly violating the California Fair Employment and House Act protections of a further 12,000 female employees. Yeah, so this is just females trying to get their cash in and try to get and um, not have to work as hard for being worse than they really are. That's just the reality of it. That's that's just the way. Yeah, women, you may not like that, but that's the way it's sounding to me. Now, ladies, I would like to see your comments down below and see what this what this really means to you. But I honestly think it's the women that are not good enough, that are not up to par, because 10,000 women is a lot. Um, 
uh, I could agree if it was like maybe ten pe- women, maybe or five women to make. Put, uh, you, we could even go to twenty. That where that is a possible thing, right? Where they were probably not treated fairly. That we could go with that. But nine thousand, that's insanity to me, right? That's just insanity to me, because to me that just sounds like women that are not good actors just want the same amount of pay as the men that are good actors. And that doesn't, that's not how that works. There's plenty of women that are good actors. They paid a lot of money and they deserve it. So, but to have them be forced to pay the same amount of money as the other men for doing a worse job, that's insane. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. This is algorithmic disease, the social media.